Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical Today. I'm bringing you Monk Monday number 107 or 108. I forget which number it is. But for those who don't know what that is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here. And I critique it and I review it and I go over your cooldowns, your teammates' cooldowns, everything that I can to help you improve at the game. Personally, when somebody watches my gameplay and leaves comments, it helps me. And then also, if you just record your gameplay, you could use free OBS, or if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you have Shadow Play. It's just watching your gameplay over is just really, really good way to improve. So today we have Techers, I'm pretty sure, again. And again, you can be any MMR, it does not matter. Any MMR, any twos, threes, RPGs, PvE, PvP, it doesn't matter to me. Um, he says, I have some more gameplay for you to critique. 1800 the season, but I have a hard time pushing higher ratings. It just feels like I'm in a rut. I hope you can help me out. I hope I can too. I have three games where I play with a rogue and three games where I play with a warlock that I struggled in. As always, love the content. Thank you. Thank you for submitting your gameplay. And I uh, I love playing with warlocks. I love playing with warlocks so much. So I will hopefully help you out. Um and yeah, let's let's just jump right into it. I really I really do enjoy. I, I miss uh, Mistweaver Warlock is like one of my favorite things to play. But it looks like is this a Demonology Warlock? No, this looks like an Affliction Warlock. I feel because I see usually this means that we're playing with an Affliction Warlock. But we see, so we get sapped here. Let's just let's just first of all let me lower the music real quick. All right, so we get sapped. That's a marked fifth kidney on your Warlock. That's been dead straight off the bat. So I'm assuming this Rogue is probably gonna be. Um, Night Fae, that's Unending Resolve from your Warlock. So, usually, I mean, we usually get Unending Resolve, so that's we should be okay, actually. We should be fine. Priest is doing a little bit of damage. It's also uh, their Forest set. So, overall, we're doing pretty good right now. Healing, I don't think there's, sh there's Kick right there. So, there's no Kick for them to deal with you. You're, we're playing Forest set. Make sure you put Renewing Mist out on your teammate. Because um, they're trying to run right now. But, yeah, you definitely want to make sure that you just... Yep, good. Okay, we're doing a really good job right now. I would dispel the poisons maybe off your Warlock just so it makes it easier for them to get to your the Rogue. But I think overall we're doing a pretty good job right now. And, yeah, it looks like we are playing with an Affliction Warlock. So, Affliction Warlocks... It's been a minute. I think I played with them in Season 2. I have some pretty good Affliction Warlocks. Um, you, mostly you don't want to in-cap anything because what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to put their... Um, they're dots and everybody the healer DPS everything even the pets So try not to in cap and just use your leg sweeps when you feel like they're doing damage um, Also on your Omni CD right here. I would I would maybe track Dark Soul uh, It's a pretty good idea to know when they're starting to do damage um, That's what I did when I started playing with a demon uh, Yeah, demonology warlock is I started tracking their demonic tyrant just because you you I think it's really important to know what defensives your teammates have, but also their offensive cooldowns, because Warlocks don't really have a reliable way to stun things. Or at least Affliction flicked Warlocks, Demonology Warlocks do, but we in the Rogue there. Again, it's okay because he's running, but it is... Oh, I can actually see it's Dark Soul right now, so you just in off a bunch of Dark Soul dots, which isn't the best thing to do. Um, and you're, we're also pushing in right now, so I, just be scared. Our leg sweep is fine. That's good. Be careful, priest can fear you for free, but I think really good right now. And I think we're trying to kill the warlock. That's GS on the on not we're trying to kill the priest. Uh GS on the priest himself. So we're doing a pretty good job right now. One thing is we're out of range of port. Um, so just be careful with that. They could swap to you. But I think overall, I think we're doing good. We have our hots up. Maybe we want to throw an enveloping mist out here. Um, looks like that's that uh dark pact. And I mean, we're doing we're doing a pretty good job right now. We're surviving. No kidney shot. Looks like they're trying to run. The rogue is. I don't know if he knows he's playing assassination, but uh, <laughs> he keeps running away after stun the yards. So um, they're not getting a lot of pressure, which is good. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, I think overall, really good job. Fear on the priest. So right now, also, we don't have leg sweep. I know, but I'm just saying, like right now, it's a good idea to just keep in mind when the priest or when your warlock gets a fear or something on the on the healer, try to get a leg sweep on the DPS when you have it. Obviously, you can't right now. In cap is again not not ideal, and that is that is night fey ability. Train cocoon is really important. Out, oh, we get chastised on it immediately into a fear. Um, and then let's seed. Okay. Um, I see. So, most important thing. So, Assassination Rogues and Twos, they're just playing, most, 99% of them are just playing in the Night Fae, Sepsis, one shot thing. And it's really annoying to deal with. Uh, for you, we get blinded, so we train it, which is fine. One thing I would recommend, and I don't know what talents you were running before this, because I, I don't think you recorded them. 
Uh, Peace Weaver is really, really important in this matchup. It's like it's 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 almost too good so what you do life cocoon is fine because sepsis has so sepsis works where like like 80 percent of the damage is in the first two seconds so you need to react instantly like way before as soon as you see sepsis there's a blind on you and you see sepsis trinket and revival if you have peace weaver like or trinket and dispel whatever you can to get rid of it um there's a sepsis right there and we're at like what 90 maybe 85 percent um, this is your trinket right here. Like in, in this moment, um, you trinket this because again, sepsis works where it's front loaded damage, where most of the damage is in the first, like two or two and a half seconds. So keep that in mind. And then you just dispel it. And then we just trinket cocoon a little too late because then we just get again, a positioning wise. It's also not ideal because we're just trinketing right on top of the priest, which really sucks. So that's a little unfortunate. Actually, I wonder how we got here. Yeah, okay. Before you want to go around the pillar, never be on top of a priest because it just makes it easy for them to CC you and you never want to do that. So obviously hindsight's 2020, 20, but positioning wise, stay away from the priest. Make it very difficult for them to get to you, even though I know we were going for CC on the priest here. And then trinket, peace weaver, and then life cocoon is probably what I would do just to get rid of the spell and uh it makes them immune to magical effects. But overall, I think you were doing fine. I think healing wise it was fine, but it just comes to that one mistake, and I know it sucks that like what kind of mistake did you make it's just that sepsis is just sepsis you know it's it's a good button to press and uh you have to rotate trinket so like next go when you have sepsis your rogues your warlock is gonna have uh trinket and unending resolve hopefully port two so you just keep rotating trinkets 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 until you kill them so that sucks it's a it's it, it, it's it's an awful way to lose but that's just how it is unfortunately experience tranquility Oh my god, I thought I was I thought I was accidentally streaming right now. Thanks so much for the follow, Kaiz and I am. <laughs> I don't think they'll ever see this video, but thank you. <laughs> um, so we have Resto Shaman Outlaw Rogue. Again, this is another if you're playing with an affliction warlock, just know your goal is to live as long as possible. That's it. You're not trying to do nothing besides live. You know, you're gonna get your dots out, you're gonna get your dark soul, they're probably gonna cut on it, and then that's when you go for a drink, and that's when, you know. That, that's when you try to do your best just stay alive get your drinks make sure you get your cooldowns back so sap on sap on your on the warlock means they're probably gonna go you um so hopefully we're playing eminence uh versus outlaw rogue i would probably play with an affliction warlock i would play port disarm and probably it's a wrestle shaman so you can go between chrysalis or zen focus i'd probably go chrysalis here just because the life cocoon shortage and uh, the, the short life cocoon is really nice so uh, stun on you. We don't have to port nothing, which is nice. Disarm the rogue is fine. I don't know if this was adrenaline rush or not. Um, but nice drop here too for kiting. I don't think it was adrenaline rush, so maybe it was a waste of legs of um, disarm. But we do a pretty good job of kiting. Uh, make sure you get a in cap or a, a little thing on your warlock. A renewing mist. Can you shut on your warlock? Adre this is adrenaline rush, so ideally, this song is freaking me out. Um, so ideally, this is when you disarm and uh, not before. But I mean, that's pretty much that. That's the only thing I have to say so far. It's de death pact from your dark pact from your your uh, warlock. Um, looks like we're trying to get a leg sweep on the shaman, which we do. Um, I would just be careful with your leg sweep, just because you don't really like mist weavers. Don't really dictate when we go. Like I don't know. Oh, the warlock, like your DPS is gonna know when they have damage, not you. So I would just hold off until you see like a fear on maybe the shaman and then you get a leg sweep on the rogue or something like that. Um, but the leg sweep's fine, I think. Well, shaman's trying to do damage. Try to dispel flame shock when you can just so it reduces the damage on the resto shaman. This is dark soul from your warlock. So this is this is probably when you want to go for a leg sweep uh, right here. Because um, it's a lot of damage. That's ground and totem. That's ancestral. Uh, that's... Um, or mastery from the shaman so they're trying to stay alive great coil from your warlock if we can get any oh we don't have leg sweep never mind i forgot uh we, we can actually if you have rob you can rob them to the wall but <laughs> uh drain life this is a lot of damage from your warlock shadow fury as well we get spirit link totem from the resto shaman doing a really good job here kiting out of the earthen shield totem great rob from you renewing mist stays on your on your warlock you might want to okay no your statue's up here which is great blind on your warlock means that they're going you we port it's a little bit rough of a port. He might try to vanish. Can he shot you off? No. Great fortifying brew here. 
be careful if you're not playing Zen Focus T, but it looks like they're not even, there's a kick, but it's a little late from the Shaman. Great disarm on the Rogue here. Um, we're doing a really good job of kiting, and they're probably just going to leave. If they, so if they reconnect you here, they reconnect you here, gate back to your Warlock, because if you're playing with a caster, the worst thing you can do, I'll see what you what you do, but the worst thing you can do is like hug the pillar and have the DPS like keep kiting around the pillar. What you want to do is you want to kite away from the team, but you want to kite towards your DPS in the, in the same like in the same way. So if you go around the pillar here, nice leg sweep, but it's when your warlock is um, hex. Oh, what you could have done instead of leg sweeping is caught the gate up, and then like rolled away, so it's really hard for the rogue to get to you. But good job kiting back to your warlock. Um, but we're kind of towards the shaman and this, yeah, we didn't heal that entire time. So we have to trade. So like right here, we're just not healing this whole time. Um, nice leg sweep on the rogue, which is great. But this whole time of running and like jump, well, first of all, we're kind of towards the shaman. The last thing we want to do with the shaman is kind of towards them because they have shears, hexes, slows, like damage. Like they, they, you don't ever want to try to be in range or in line of a shaman. What you could have done is maybe kind of towards the room. Um, but we're cutting towards the shaman and we're not healing during this at all either. So we have, I mean, we have revival, we have Yulon, we did a lot of healing um, and we're just not pressing it. Also, we're not even pressing Soothe the Mist because our statue isn't healing us either. Uh, so now it, it, you know, we get our trinket here, which kind of sucks. Incap on the rogue, get rid of dots, which is a little unfortunate for your warlock, but I get, we're trying to stay alive right now, which I get. You're pretty good. I mean, you know, grinding totem. Try to get, try to get away from the shaman right now. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Don't push in here. We're scared. We have nothing. We have nothing. So just keep that in mind. Rob here. Good. Shaman has no kick, so we're just free casting right now. Careful, he's looking to get a hex right now. Careful. Okay. Uh, definitely could have. When when you're in this position right here, uh, you want to be a little bit closer to one of these like pillars right here. That way you can line like CC on you. Um, so like it, the shaman goes for hex, you can just line it with the pillar. So just a little bit of a positioning issue there, but that's okay. Dwayne breaks it, which is nice. Um, I don't see what do we have. Um, we really have nothing. Shear on you. Drain life from your warlock is actually going to keep him alive, which is really good. Holy cow, that did a lot of healing. Cloak of Shadows. Stun on you out of range of report, which is a little bit unfortunate, but insane coil from your warlock. That's the spell from the shaman. Um, try not to port here. Just chill. Shaman has kick shield. We have health stone if we need it, I think. Nice fleshcraft. We have health stone too. Oh, we got a proc on our warlock and not ourselves. Oh my lord, that damage at the end there. Honestly, this is mostly it comes down to positioning, I feel. I think that first off, right here, um, right over here, uh, don't forget to heal yourself. Trust me, I make the same I make the same mistake sometimes too. Um, don't forget to heal yourself. That's pretty much it. Uh, we have revival in Yulon too. Don't be afraid to use Yulon. Like your mana is fine. Your 88% mana, your mana will be fine, especially if they're hitting you. So just use Yulon pre-hot yourself. You should be fine. And then over here, this this whole like section right here, I think was mostly a positioning situation. One, we didn't never reset our port. So playing up top is fine with an Affliction Warlock because they can't really line the dots, which is fine. Um, but make sure you put your port like LOS. And then over here, just in general, try to line the Shaman as much as you can. Because again, they have Shears, Hexes you know, slows, damage. Like, they have so much for you that could just interrupt your healing. It's just really annoying. So just try to line the Shaman as much as you can, and you should be fine. Like, you, you should be fine, because I think overall you guys were pretty much, you were crushing it. But positioning-wise, it was kind of, like, right here, like, the Shaman just gets a free Hex. Um, actually, your Warlock does have Kick, so it's not really just you. Like, obviously, it's a 2v2, not a 1v2. So your Warlock does have Kick. Um, I don't know if the pet's, like, I don't know, stunned, or I think he's playing a uh, Sack. Yeah, so he still he has kick, but from your point of view, what you could have done is stay close to the pillar, and you should be fine. Um, and then, yeah, you're you're just trying to live. Um, we we outrange our port here, which again, not ideal because you know they do if they swap to you, they die or you could die. Um, and that's cloak from the rogue. You guys were actually close to winning, I feel like, because that's rogue cloak, and then that's um that's like grounding and stuff. So. I think if we just ported, you could even port here. We diffuse magic here. What you could have done is ported off this, 
And like she torpedoed away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you could have done is just ported and then rolled LOS. And then you would have been fine. You would have been behind the pillar and that would have been I wouldn't have been close to you. So keep that in mind as well. Like even though you didn't reset your port, you still could have ported. I love playing with Affliction Warlocks though. I feel like I have a guaranteed win condition. Alright, we have Holy Pally Asa Rogue. Again, same thing as the first game. Number one priority is sepsis. 100 percent every time. Uh rotate your cooldowns with your DPS. They every single time. First vendetta is probably gonna be try and get in combat with this warlock with this pally. Okay, cheap shots on your warlock. Uh, that's looks like a little resonator trinket. So the pally's running right at you right now. And this guy could not telegraph it anymore that he wants to hodge you. So pick one. You could revival to try to immune the hodge. I would probably try to pre cocoon the hodge, or you could fleshcraft it. But you've already fleshcrafted. So pick one of the two. Peace revival for peace weaver. And immune the hodge or pre cocoon. I, ideally, I would pre cocoon it just because it's you have a short re reduction for playing chrysalis. So just cocoon your warlock right now. Just pre cocoon it. Uh, obviously, they're going to try to do damage. Um, in cap was actually nice. I didn't think about that. In cap or rop. Yeah, you could have in capped or ropped just a little bit earlier, but this is fine. That's trinket from the pally. Um, it, it's kind of delaying the go quite a bit, actually. That's a nice coil on the rogue. Yeah, okay. Chaos, okay, so he's destruction now. Okay, Destro, that's cloak and bubble instantly. Holy cow. Don't leg sweep. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, oh my god. Okay, you got. You guys just got everything from them. So right now, we're just trying to live. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Fear on the pally. Um, yeah. Well, unending resolve. Blind on the unending resolve. We trinket it. Okay, we're all in. We're all in, which is fair. Kidney shot's a little rough. That's, you gotta, revival, revival, no, yeah, um, we have to dispel it, so the animation is this right here, right there, see this little blue animation right here, it's also this dot, this little icon, um, you, that needs to get dispelled, like, ASAP, 100%, especially since it's Vendetta, it, you need to get dispelled, like, now, um, so ideally you play peace weaver and your revival just makes makes your team immune um, especially since you're on cc it will eat through life cocoon like it's nothing so just revival it that that's pretty much all there is to it it sucks but <laughs> that's just how it is like that's, that's just how it is trust me it's it's unfortunate i mean i hate it but you just got to rotate your trinkets and do your best to deal with the damage when you can don't overlap cooldowns either so um, Feral Druid, Holy Pally. So, definitely play Eminence versus this. Definitely play Chrysalis versus this. And then the next one can be Zen Focus T. Or it could be Song of chi -Gi. Could be Song of chi -Gi since you're playing with a Rogue now. Looks like we're playing with a Kyrian Rogue. So, I'm assuming Outlaw. Let me see. Yep, uh, we got the buff. So, this is Outlaw Rogue. Looks like the Druid wants to go you. So, we'll see how this goes. Um, probably. This is... Our resonator but it looks like they're he's playing this trinket which is kind of weird because i'm pretty sure you just sit the feral druid now right this adrenaline rush go for an in cap great leg sweep off oh almost now the good in cap probably try to get a leg sweep just a tad bit sooner and you should be fine cyclone your rogue so obviously they're trying to kill you could have maybe gotten a double leg sweep here if we just waited just a half second less than that just like you see the rope you see the druid is coming after you just get a double leg sweep and stop all pressure um if we're not playing eminence you could just pour it with before being stunned which is good too uh dispel that root if you can we kicked well just bruce fine we're doing miss is good port is okay so they just immediately maim your rogue. So they're trying to do damage here. Careful. Oh my god. That was like very close. Um, I don't even know. Oh, it's Convoke. Obviously, because he's playing that trinket. Okay. Yeah. So he Convokes. We have no trinket. Probably just... Yeah. Careful what... The, you can't cancel your roll anymore. So you can't like... I, that's crazy. Okay. Nice job. That's Evasion Cloak though. So we just overlapped everything. Which is a little unfortunate. But I mean... It's like 1%. So you, you should be fine. 
Um, Kenny shot on the Pally, blind on the Feral Druid, which is good. So I like the Crackling Jade Lightning to get the Mystic Touch. That's Pally's Trinket and Bob. So we, they, you guys just got a lot there too. Like they might have gotten all of your cooldowns, but you just got Bob, Trinkets, uh, like like really good stuff. Um, so I think overall we're doing pretty good. Um, I, we reset our port, reset it again. Beautiful. We're doing a really good job of doing that. Put Renewing Mist on a Rogue and then just like focus on healing. That's pretty much what you want to do. Rogues, Drew is looking for a Cyclone on your Rogue. So you can get a you can get in cap on the Feral Druid as well. Uh, good job kiting towards your Rogue. Really, really good. And kiting away. That's literally perfect. That was exact. I don't know if you meant to do it. You probably did because I know you're insane. Great job kiting towards your DPS away from your port. So if you do port, they have a hard time getting to you. Really, really good job. So now this DPS needs to go through your rogue to get to you. And it's going to, your rogue's going to make it very difficult for him to get to you. So really, really good job here. Uh, full kidney shot. This is when we're looking for CC on the pally. We're looking for anything. We're looking for an in cap uh, and a leg sweep, which we do have. So if we can get there, great kick from your rogue. You mean in cap off that lockout? In cap, beautiful into a leg sweep. Insane. That's, Perfect. It's that's in perfect. Uh, survival instincts just from just from that CC chain is really really good. Careful, you had to range your port though. Um, but no CC on you. Going for a cyclone on your rogue. Good job port. Uh, kiting towards your port. Port done. Beautiful kiting. Oh, the feral's committing. Okay, this is when it gets a little. This is when it gets a little weird because it's like now they're committed to get to you. They use stampeding roar. So this is really good. Um, good rop there too. This is when I would probably start using your Yulon. Good stop on that. Great gouge. Bubble from the Pally too. So this team has nothing. This team has absolutely nothing. Um, I would probably go for Yulon soonish. Just to get some pre-hots on you. Great kick. In cap off the lockout was insane. We have nothing. Off. This is this is why I would play Song here. But um, good job going for damage. Little spin to win. Full blind. Oh my god. How how do you guys not get a kill? Feral Jews are freaking insane, I swear. Regrowth for more than what you can heal. It's crazy. Bop. Okay. Bop is good. That's last bop, too, by the way. That's the second bop. No bubbles. No trinkets. Nothing. Nothing. Full kidney shot on the pally. Ooh. We get cloned on it, which is a little unfortunate. Um, damage on you. Okay. It's fine. Good. Evasion for be a rogue. We have port. Nice in cap. Be careful though. Yeah, nice. Good. 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 All right. Just stay alive. Focus. Just heal. Uh, don't do anything crazy. Just focus on your healing right now. Keep yourself alive. Your mana is insane. Like, just, you're fine. You're fine. Now put Renewing Mist on your rogue. You always want to make sure you have Renewing Mist up, you know. Um, really important. The, the, the Feral Druid does have his Trinket, so there's not going to be any stops for this next Convoke. So just be careful. Here's Tiger's Fury. So he's going to start doing some damage pretty soon. Hodge on your Rogue. Um, in Cap on the Feral is really, really good. We need to be really close for this Convoke. Actually, a Leg Sweep could probably get us the win. Uh, if we Leg Sweep the Pally, nice, insane stops on that. Yeah, nice job. Oh, my Lord. Uh, great blinds, great peels from your, your rogue. Uh, overall, let me think. This game was good. This game was good. Position wise, kiting wise, everything was really good. Um, you don't have to be as careful with your incaps and stuff because you're playing with the rogue. Um, the only thing that DR is, I think, is gouge. Um, pretty good though. Healing wise was good. Just focus on your healing and, uh, good game. Really good. Really, really good. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Fury Warrior. Okay. Yeah, Fury Warriors, I feel like Outlaws do fairly good into them. So just, again, I know it sounds like obvious, but just focus on healing yourself, keep your team alive, and you'll be fine. Uh, use Disarm. The biggest thing, oh, Fear on the Rogue means they're going to try to swap you. So I would start kiting in the opposite direction. Um, one thing to keep in mind, though, is use your Disarm when like your teammate is having trouble with like kiting stacks of the, uh, what is it called? slaughterhouse i believe it's called yeah slaughterhouse stacks and then just use your disarms for that uh, evasion from your rogue so evasion on your rogue means that they're either gonna swap to you or hold their cooldown so it looks like great kidney shot there to avoid the fear uh, it looks like they're not trying to swap to you so that's really good for you um and then try to maybe get an in cap off that oh it's sapped dr nope oh, we thought the same thing a little bit too late actually there was like literally zero point what zero point 
two seconds left on the DR and it would have been a full in cap. So just keep that in mind. I, I honestly didn't even, I forgot too that uh, it actually DRs with uh, Sap. So here comes a fear. We're just going to eat it. That's fine, I guess. It's a full kidney shot. So the fear is actually, the fear is actually bad because you're, the warrior was in CC. Uh, good port to get away. I'd probably maybe kite him a little further. Rob here is fine too. Um, try not to waste your teacher torpedoes. Just make sure you're getting away. That's GS on the warrior as well. So you guys are getting cooldowns, which is nice. Uh, rally as well. Full kidney shot on the priest. Evasion from your rogue again. Oh my lord. Okay. And yeah, the warrior's going to try to do damage. That's dismantle from your rogue. If we have disarm, probably want to use it. Stormbolt onto you and charge. So good port. Good port here. Good. Good. Um, they instantly saw with you. Cocoon is fine too. Try to get a hot. Perfect. Honestly, that's Rave Hope too from the priest. So, I mean, I think overall we're doing pretty good right now. Still on USDR. Uh, we have Manatee. Probably good time to Manatee kind of soonish. I mean, I think we're doing fine on mana, but just keep that in mind. That's a DR stun. Probably not ideal. Let me see. I think that was a. Yeah, that was a half DR stun. So, I don't know. I, I would say maybe hold on to your stun just a little bit longer for the full duration leg sweep just because of how good it is. Uh, and your rogue has so many stuns. So now we can't do a go on the warrior for like another 15 seconds. Fear on your fear on your rogue. Oh, trinket from your rogue. Okay. I guess your rogue isn't that scared, which I don't blame him. Incap on the warrior is actually pretty good because he has no Zerker Rage. So I think overall doing a pretty good job right now of just staying alive and kiting. So... Make sure you reset your port. I think this is your port right here. So just make sure you reset it if you're moving pillars, moving around on the map. Very important to do. Uh, always try to reset your port, reset your statues. It's very easy to, to like lose track of them. But I think overall doing pretty good right now. Uh, charges over to you. Honest, obviously right now would be a really good time to port, but we actually don't have it right now, which is a little unfortunate. Full blind on the warrior is really, really good. Yeah. Oh, but you want to get away. Yeah, don't, don't stick around. Okay, don't. Don't like try to hug this guy. You see the blind roll in the opposite direction or something because you have one roll. Get away from him because staying on top of him. I guess maybe if we go for a leg sweep. In cap, he has Zerka Rage. I'm pretty sure. No. Oh, maybe use it for the last one. I'm pretty sure this guy has Zerka Rage. I don't know why he didn't press it. Usually you can in cap every other Zerka Rage, and he already in capped one. Uh, Jordan Rush though, so this is a uh, big damage. That's also a uh, emblem from the. Uh, the priest so we're seeing a lot of damage here coming out from you maybe missing touch here leg sweep off is perfectly fine too yeah no this these games are going a lot better we also this is a good time to disarm because it's uh the proc and uh oh no that's actually the real thing so and he has no trinket which is good too so i think we disarmed or maybe the rogue did but now he's off dr enrage regeneration from them Get, tried to spell that fear oh one thing also I noticed in the other game was uh, the like no dispels. Try to dispel ASAP. Like you have your rogue had a lot of pressure on the priest, and then he just had a full fear. So try your best. Can you shot on the warrior is actually is pretty good peel. Um, we're doing a really good job of just staying alive. But make sure you reset your port and um, just port whenever the warrior gets to you, whenever you can. Um, the priest again no stun yard by the priest so we're just gonna get a full kidney shot here no trinket full blind on the warrior no trinket intervene and maybe a little touch of death here get him get him nice all right we got the proc on on guardian spirit which is really good so that means it's gonna be a three minute cooldown double leg sweep it's full on the warrior which is good because the warrior is the one that's trying to hit you <laughs> uh greater fade from the priest try to get away because he might get a double fear here. that's ray of hope any cc during this would be really good and apotheosis so they're gonna have cc for you they're gonna have the chastise on you and um and a lot of healing but the priest is ooming which is really good in cap on the warrior stun on you report beautiful on the leap Apotheosis is now in full kidney shot here. Probably trigger from the priest. Awesome. Uh, this is adrenaline rush from your rogue and evasion. So there's no uh, there's no way to really peel him. And I think we're going to try to go in for the win here. Which should be nice. Okay. I mean, the priest is doing symbols of hope. But I don't know if it's going to do that much. Be careful. We're really, we're really, really far from port. And we have no trinkets. So just be very careful. Stun on you. Nice blind on the warrior. He's actually just sitting it, which is kind of insane. Incap again. 
They're, they're trinkets it. Oh my lord. Nice nice time on trinket. That's the priest goes down. Really good game here. One thing to keep in mind is try to dispel as much as you can, like as like as often as you can, especially when you see that your you know teammate has pressure. And then two, remember to reset your port, because that's really important. And then don't stick around versus warriors. Like they're crazy. Like they, they do so much damage. They could they could kill you. So if you ever if you ever have a time to breathe during a game, especially versus a Fury Warrior, uh get away. Roll away, get out of there. Uh looks like we have Fury Warrior Holy Pally. Seems like the same thing. I think Holy Pally might be a little bit more annoying just because they have bops, but Rop, but he blade storms through it. But we shall see. Hodge on you. Port. Be careful if he has a stun, but I don't think he will. I think they already that's fortifying brew two, so that's good. Oh. Yeah, what you want to do, the warrior doesn't follow you. Instead of going up on this pillar, go to the middle pillar. That way, because we just run right into them again. They're like, oh, hello there. So, and then we had to use life cocoon. So, try to go to the middle ramp to make sure that they can't make it. You know, that way it's not easy to get back to you. You want to make it as difficult as you can, especially if they're training you. You want to make it as difficult as you can for them to get back to you. But nice full blood on the Fury Warrior, which is really nice. Um, zapping everything that's both trinkets as well so i mean they really have nothing looks like the warrior really wants to hit you you could full leg sweep this in cap he's recreation i would just uh the rogue trinkets uh nice nice uh leg sweep there but yeah the warrior just wants to hit you there's not much we have fortifying brew we have rop here and roll up really good beautiful really 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 good and then just put your port on. if the, you're in this situation Put your port in the middle of the map. I know it sounds weird. Put it in the middle of the map. And that way when you jump down, you're always being range of port. Or you can go to like one of these pillars, port, and then roll across the map. That's also good. Uh, DR kidney shot on the on the warrior. Um, I think they're going to have a hard time killing a fury warrior. They're going to have a hard time killing either of you. Here's Yulon. We're trying to kite the pally, but we're using... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Dispel the Hodge if you can. Yeah, you, like this right here, you wanted to you wanted to spell this ASAP just because you know, you know they're at half they're at full health, so you won't lose much lose out on much healing. Can you shot on the warrior? Incap on the pally. It looks like we're trying to kill the pally. Repentance, careful. Nice kick on that. Yeah, we're doing a really good job here. Uh, just staying alive. Good. If they go uh, careful again, yeah, be careful when like pushing in because like, this team wants to kill you. Looks like we got bubble here, perfect kidney shot. That's also evasion from your rogue and fear on your rogue, so they're trying to go you. Uh, good disarm as well, full repentance. The warrior just breaks it, which is really nice. Um, <laughs> nice double leg sweep here. I think it was deer on the pally, but that's okay. As long as you can get out of there when they're trying to hit you, you, you should be fine. Where he gets back to yeah, so like situations like this, just stay behind the pillar, right here. You you see them running at you, just stay right behind the pillar and let them really like come in like overextend into you. Um, if we can in cap ish or I think uh like any CC on the pally could actually win. Nice blind, good port. Yeah, the that's bop on the pally, but I'm pr oh okay, it's big sack. All right, yeah, it's gonna be a little little rough, but the pally actually is struggling to heal through the damage. Uh, Riley Falls, nice drop. Incap after that. If we have it, yeah, incap on the pally would actually be insane. I don't know if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Incap, yeah, 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 yeah. Really good, really, really good. Can you shot on the pally? Touch of death here. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. This game was really good. One thing though, at the start, you, you want to make it very difficult for them to get to. Try not to run right back into them, like into this team. Otherwise, they're just gonna, they could kill you. So just be careful. Um, especially if the warrior had like a stun here, I think you would have just flopped over because they do a lot of damage. And we have to use cocoon, so just keep that in mind. Um, but I think overall this game was really well done, really well played. So, yeah, well deserved win. Uh, I'll go through. I'll do the critiques. Let me see what we got here. This first game, both of these assassination rogue games. Uh, which are the two? These two right here. Is this also an assassination rogue game? Oh, these two right here. This one and this one. Uh, the same critiques for them. Uh, dispel Sepsis. Play Peace Weaver into Assassination Rogue. And use Revival when you see Sepsis. It's very important to dispel it ASAP. Very, very important. This one right here was Outlaw. This one, I think, was just positioning-wise. It was just a little unfortunate pushing in. You, you, 
you almost want to line the shaman more than the rogue just because shaman can do way more things to you you know like they they have so much stuff to disrupt your healing so just keep that in mind uh stay away from shaman so just just stay away from shaman you should be fine and then reset your port and then you, yeah even if you're out of range of port if you can get back in port range and then like roll away you should be fine but Good job using Dwayne to break your hex here. This is the same as this one. Also, keep in mind, dispel, eight, like, just in general, dispel things as soon as you can. Uh, this one right here, I think, was a good game. Like, this, the kiting on this game, on this, this game was really good. Yeah, I, I have no complaints about this one. Healing-wise, it was good. Uh, kiting was really good. Good ports, really, really good. This one, always try to, always try to stay in range of port. No matter what, but especially versus Fury Warriors, make sure to reset your port, and then don't let priests just. F I think fear you for free. I I, th I think it was this one or this one where we were on top of the uh, port or on top of the priest for fear. So just keep that in mind. And then finally, this one. Again, another really good game. Just keep in mind that if teams are trying to kill you, don't stick around. Like, not just versus Fury Warriors. I'm talking versus any any team. If they're trying to kill you, do not stick around and make play a little mini game with yourself where you're trying to make it as hard as you can for them to get to you. And then just stay away from like don't touch them. Don't go anywhere near them. You know? But uh, dude, I, honestly the games weren't that bad. I think your healing rotation is down pat. I think it's more positioning. Just focus on healing. Don't don't do anything crazy. Focus on healing. When you see that your teammate is going in for a kill, track the offensive cooldowns that your team has, that your teammates have as well. That way you know when they're doing damage. And then do, go for it. You know, if if the situation is there and you can get a leg sweep, get a leg sweep. If you can't, you can't. It's fine. Don't force it. But you know, just do your best to uh, CC when your team's doing damage, and you'll be you'll be fine, man. But yeah, if th hopefully this helps you or anyone that might be running into the same issues. But overall, really good games. Thank you so much for submitting your games, and that's it for me. Hope everyone's a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you later.